Okay, pick up where we left off before we got cut off. Um, so on May 10th, this banner, actually we can set it to disappear, an end publishing date. And we can also have it set to where um, on a certain date, uh, another banner pops up. So you can pick the start and ending date of content on your site, which is great because you can go ahead and take care of a lot of maintenance at one time and don't have to worry about it for a while. Um, all right, let's go ahead and talk about add-ons um, for a little bit because this is really where the site becomes specific for your church and where it can meet your specific needs. Um, I have a couple general ones that I find a lot of churches typically use and get a lot of benefit from. There are literally thousands, as we said before, more of these to where uh, you can meet any need that you have specific to your church. Uh, first one I want to show you real fast is the event booking. I'm actually going to pull up the one that they're using for the district council. Um, you can put in all your information about the event and what and whatnot. You can do um, individual registration and group registration. Um, just walk you through that real fast. Say I have two two people. I can give name one. All right, and you can have you can actually customize these to be however however um, you want it to be. So it can match just about any form that, that you have in your church, which is also a huge benefit. And then, oops. All right, on, um, and then you have your billing page where you can also collect additional information about the group if it's a group you can have different add-ons. You can actually price it by add-ons on the um, thing. This is priced by tickets. You can have t-shirts with the sizes that cost more if it's a camp. Um, all kinds of stuff you can add on here and of course you can take credit card payments or PayPal credits which makes it real nice. Um, the great thing they, that a lot of churches use is the donations and payments manager. If you're already using PayPal, you don't have to do anything extra. We just plug it on in and it works with that. Um, this is good because it allows you to have all of the information and you to pick how much information you have and it allows designation. And you can also do reoccurring giving which is great. So if you have people that tithe regularly that would like to just put it on their card and not have to worry about it, there it is. Um, Another good thing about this is in the back end, you can actually um, have an Excel um, download. So you can download all the activity you've had in a certain period of time. So you have it in an Excel sheet to use with your accounting software. Um, have, it also has a great calendar add-on that you can use. Um, right now this calendar is empty, but you can have um, your different events here. You can see it by the year, the month, the week, and and uh, and the list the year is actually a list format of the events coming up. Uh, again, very very easy to edit. I'm just going to click if I if you uh, have um, administrator rights, click the little plus sign that you saw me click. You can put in all of the event details and close it, and um, a pop up on the calendar. Again, super easy. There is no no other place you have to go, no other passwords to remember. It's all right there. Um, you can also have a community feature, um, kind of a Facebook style community to where uh, you members of your church can meet and talk and share pictures. Um, it's like Facebook but private, you know, for your group only. Um, you can also do mailing lists, which um, is great because you can add people in the back end. You can add people. You people can add themselves to it. Uh, so if you have a newsletter that you want to send out by email and stuff, they can add their names to it. And also you can have the unsubscribe um, right on the site, which will keep you legal with the Can Spam Act, which that's a very important thing as well. You can also do online stores. You can do picture albums that look very well. And even customizable form. There's really just a ton of stuff that this can do for your church.